I have something special for you. This is a true story involving my brother and sister-in-law living in their remote house in Socorro, New Mexico. They've often shared tales about the unusual happenings in their home. Think of it like the setting of Courage the Cowardly Dog, an isolated house in the middle of nowhere. You're about to see some real footage taken during my stay at their trailer home. It's a landscape of vast fields and dirt stretching for acres around, with only a few distant houses in sight. As clearly seen in this footage, the nearest houses belong to kin and friends, creating a tightly knit community. Freaking thunder right now. I was like, what the hell? It's a perfectly nice day. Uh, but there's a behind that mountain, the M mountain. Yeah, behind that mountain, there's an explosion. There's like missiles. No, we don't know what it is. There's an explosion back there. Sometimes they're violent than that, we can hear them inside too. Yeah. Okay, so now that I'm recording, we're just talking about that giant plume of black smoke <laughs> that's sort of proof that they're, I guess that's our proof. Because like people, like I don't want people to think we're adding in like those rumbling effects. Oh, right. Like, like people do online, like, oh, I heard this crazy, like, siren. Yeah, but people will just fake that. Add them in. And It's rare for them to have unexpected visitors, given how well the house is tucked away. Hills and unwelcoming dirt roads encircle it. And from the highway, it's particularly invisible due to the large trees that deftly mask the trailer home, especially in the summertime. It would take a proper invitation with detailed instructions or a lost wanderer to visit this house. What makes these stories especially unsettling is the sheer remoteness of their home. In late 2019, my nieces and nephews began telling tales of a quote, bad guy, who would visit them in the middle of the night. Pointing to her room? No, she was pointing towards this little area here. Just in, into the darkness. Yeah, into the darkness. And like, <laughs> because the, the, all these other stuff, the only light that was on was uh, the movie light. The movie light. And it's like, you know. And then the heater, the heater light was on. Oh, okay. So this heater light was. And that heater light. Oh, okay. And then that heater light was on. Are you bringing it in here, babe? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So look, this heater light here, it's on. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And so everything else is dark, right? That's the only light that was on here. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I was like, Initially, my brother and sister-in-law dismissed it as child's play. Kids being kids with their wild imaginations. But bit by bit, more details about this bad guy began to emerge. On separate occasions, the children would insist that a coyote would come to my niece's bedroom window and talk to her. Nothing too crazy for the average country home in this area 
to get animals visiting in the middle of the night. And as for the talking, that could easily be chalked up to imagination. But what puzzled my brother was that their trailer home was elevated, making it quite difficult for a person, let alone a coyote, to peer through the window without assistance. So one afternoon, months later, my sister-in-law invited a friend over for lunch. As they finish their chat, her friend casually mentions, So who was the man outside? Confused, my sister-in-law asked what she meant. The friend explained that she saw a very tall man in Native American garb standing in the field in front of their house when she arrived. Casually, she waved at him, thinking he must be an acquaintance. She asked again, did you guys hire him to do yard work or something? To which my sister-in-law replied, No. There's nobody here but us. Needless to say, my brother and sister-in-law got very little sleep the following nights. Because this wasn't the first sighting of a man near the house, nor would it be the last. If you found this channel today from one of my various social media posts, I'd like to invite you to join me along this journey as we explore the strange occurrences that happened at this house. And along the way, I'll be sharing countdown videos of the best paranormal evidence that I can find. Welcome to Ghost Toast.